Hey guys, it's Mike with Efficient Fishing. Alright, today we are going to learn to fish um, efficiently. So like say if you don't have a lot of time and you know you don't got hours and hours on end to go out and um, fish but you want to maybe fish after work or something like that but you want you don't want to waste your time if you know you're not going to catch any fish. So what we're going to do here is we're going to learn and a lot of fishing has to do with tide slack tide uh, uh low tide high tide uh if you're trying to fish in between the water's going to be moving too fast and you're more than likely not going to catch anything it depends on um, you know i'm fishing in salt water and, and i'm pretty much an intercoastal river so we're going to learn about that today um we're going to start out um you see here behind me this water is really uh, far out today <laughs> other than I haven't seen it in a long time and uh, where there's a sailboat right behind me there and that sailboat is uh, about to fall over because there's no water and um, it's pretty much close to a sandbar and uh, in between that sandbar and where I'm standing uh, there's um, a there's a channel in between it so I'm gonna walk out here to this channel and uh, see what I got what I can catch uh, I'm starting out with uh, some large uh, live shrimp and uh, if I'm getting bitten off too much uh, if nothing's biting on them except for little fish I'm gonna go to some uh, dead shrimp that I have uh, all right well I'm gonna walk out here and uh, see what happens and uh, if I hook up on anything you'll see too from me fishing fishing all right so we're set up here i have uh, my uh shrimp uh somewhere there <laughs> all, right. all right so he's right there we're fixing to toss him out there have a good feeling there's uh some birds flying around some bait and stuff so we're gonna toss him out there Right. Just got a good feeling that we're going to get a hit right away. Alright, so as I discussed before, this is a uh, low tide. Um, depending on where you fish at, it's kind of crucial here because this spot in general, um, I, oh, I got a, huh. Anyways, this spot in Gen Okay, he's still on. Um, Alright, I'm trying to figure out how. Okay, he's on. Alright, so, anyways, um, I feel like there's something there. There's a dock here. I mean, the dock's like 10, 15 feet behind me. And when you're fishing here, like you just don't. Um, shallow. So, and so fishing here out in this deep spot is there's more deeper water there just because it's a channel. So you're walking out to the channel.
like minutes ago. Alright, so here's the... Just a little lazy fish. I mean, I just got here within moments ago and already hooked up on the fish. Water. That good? You know, I wouldn't have um, caught anything. Alright, I'll be right back with you. Here we we're gonna, we're um, catching ladyfish one after another here. Um, we got. Hold on a second. Oh, you already got This thing in. These lady fish are out here today. All right, so there's the second lady fish there. Um, they seem to be biting pretty good right now in this low tide. Uh, south of here, so. All right, let me take him off and get him swimming and see if uh, how many more is out there. Alright, so um, I'm going to switch up the bait a little bit. They ate all my live shrimp. So I'm going to go to DOA shrimp. Um, see what happens. If not, I have that storm uh, shad. So we're going to try that out. But let's see what happens here, okay? Uh, so we're going to go ahead and pop this open. I'm going to walk up to the bank. <laughs> Water's moving in here on me. Tell the difference because the uh, sailboat is sitting up now. Well, there's still a bunch of birds around, so usually we're the bait are at, and when bait is at, the uh, fish are at. So uh, let's see if my theory is good. <laughs> I mean, I've done a lot of fishing, so. I like to, uh, you know, I got, I work two jobs now, so, uh, you know, I, I need to be more efficient with my fishing, so, it, it's, I think it's going to be uh, better uh, if we, you know, m you make more time out of it, so, I mean, it's fun, you know, oh, got a hit, um, let's see here blabbing around. <laughs> right, give me... I think he's a... Where's that one? Let's see. Forget I'm fishing with a lure and not like bait, so I gotta reel it in. <laughs> That's my least favorite part about lures is reeling in them in every 30 seconds. This is why I like uh, more, I like live bait better, but you know, I'm slowly getting into, uh, slowly getting into it so, and lures and you know, you know, I've got to get all nasty smelling with shrimp, um, but you know, sometimes you know, it depends on what you're using. Sometimes, you know, lures are more efficient. Sometimes they're not when it comes to catching bait, you know. So sometimes they want to see some live action. Um, 
sometimes they want to go in for the quick kill. So we're going to see what happens here. So far I've been killing them on the live stream. I haven't perfected um, how fast or how slow to build a bait. Still using this uh, DOA shrimp. See, the water is starting to move in. Um, the water is starting to move faster. Um, so that's two things that are going to affect the rate of catching fish. I don't know if you guys have ever been out and then it's like you've been fishing for a long, a while and all of a sudden, hey, fish are biting and they're like biting like crazy and everybody's catching fish. But that's because of the, the tide, usually. Um, I mean, I've done that several times, and God, it took me forever to figure out why is it like this. And I noticed, hey, well, the water is really low at this point in time. It's coming in, and then all of a sudden it's slowing down, and boom, fish are biting. Or, for instance, the tide's going out, like right now. It was really far out. I came out here, and... You know, there's, I could walk all the way, and I was up to halfway up my ankle and catching, and I was catching fish, and now I'm up to my knee, and it's almost in the sense where the fish aren't biting so well anymore. But in that sense, I also did run out of fake uh, bait, or real bait, live bait. I'm using fake bait now, some DOAs, sent it, we're going to see if anything happens. I mean, I got hit, so... Alright, so I'm going to try to toss my fake shrimp, my DOA shrimp out here, and uh, when I toss this DOA out, I'm just going to kind of let it sit and sink to the bottom. You want to sit this? Michelle. Um, so we're going to see if that's a little more effective. Maybe just something, the fish are just looking for something not too, not, not too hard to grab a hold of. So I'm just gonna let it sink. What'd you see? Did you see anything? No, I ran out of light bait and now I'm just uh, trying to use my fake shrimp to uh I might want to be I don't know. I think I'm getting deep enough. It's pretty deep over here. Yeah, I think the water's coming in. Well kinda deep. Actually my back in the water. You wanna go grab my bag and move it? All right, so it's not working. Let me figure something out. All right, so um, 
gonna wrap it up. I tried the DOA shrimp. I tried this uh, storm shad. Um, I got a couple hits on the storm shad. The, I think the shrimp are too light uh, on this water here. They're not sinking far enough. But I'm gonna wrap it up, and uh, as you can see, the water's uh, coming in. Oh, look at that big boat. Anyways, the water's coming in. The sailboat out there. Um, the I've been here for maybe an hour, and the water's moving in. You still see the sand bar. Usually, that's uh, if that's full. If it's all the way up, there's uh, that's all full. So, um, all right. So I'm wrapping it up. Uh, one hour of fishing. I don't. I you guys didn't see everything, but uh, must have caught at least five or six ladyfish. Uh, you know, not not the ideal fish, but you know, a fun fish to catch. I mean, it's not taking home dinner or anything, but uh, you know, it's fun. And like I said, I spent a whole hour of fishing, and you know, it got slow at like within 30 minutes. So you could have spent, you know, I take it a little too far, but I could have spent 30 minutes here and been perfectly fine. So we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna wrap it up here and. Uh, We'll see you next time, uh, Mike with the fish fishing.